करते हैं I think God makes no mistakes and uh, I'm just trusting the process right now and this is just motivation, you know what I mean? She's uh what's crazy is her due date is the 12th and I fight on the 16th and here we are what is it the 3rd and we're just hoping that baby Riley makes an appearance <laughs> before I leave because I leave the night of the 5th. So I'm just hoping so but if not, you know, God doesn't make any mistakes. We we trust the process. You know what I mean? Last 24 hours have been crazy, man, because Riley's due date was uh, the 12th. And today's the 6th. She came on the 6th. And we were so, so worried about whether she's going to come early, whether she's going to come late, whether she's going to come on time, whether I was going to be here. Because of, simply because, you know what I mean, we knew her due date before we got the fight date. And, you know, I, I coached Britt through it and just told her, look, if I'm not here, you know what you got to do. You know what I mean? You got support here. But I want to be here, and I think God is going to allow me to be here, and I think Rod is going to come on time. But I also let her know that if things don't happen the way that we want them, you know, God's plans are perfect. Here comes the fifth, and we're supposed to fly out on the fifth. And the flight was canceled until tomorrow morning, or tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. So since the flight is canceled until tomorrow morning, um, I hope my wife has a baby within the next couple hours. Because of the hurricanes that's going on on the, uh, you know, Texas and up under Florida caused real bad uh, weather in New York. So they canceled all flights to New York that day. And we were all in the airport like, oh God, like, uh, man, you know, God works in mysterious ways. You never know. Riley might come tomorrow. Lucky enough. He ran into a great person that works at the airline and they got me a flight that leave, leaves out of Rochester today at 5.30. I leave at 5.30 and they were able to switch two tickets. So TJ and Munoz left already and they'll be in London at 7 in the morning and me and Lucky leave a few hours later and we'll arrive in London at 11 in the morning. No need to talk about it. We know what's getting ready to happen. There's no need to talk. He came in with a whole crew talk. Like, if I wasn't confident and I didn't know what was going to happen, you think I would have came all the way from New York to London? This is his backyard. They're probably going to throw ice at me, throw beers at me after I beat him. I'm willing to walk through all of that because I know what the hell is about to happen. I don't need to get all big and boisterous. Because once that bell ring, bing. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we are going to begin the weigh-in process with our main event participants. They will be competing in a scheduled 12-round contest, and it will be for the WBO Middleweight Championship of the World. At this time, we will welcome to the scale the challenger. He comes to us from Rochester, New York, USA. And he brings with him a professional record consisting of 21 wins, just two defeats, with six wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the scale the former world title challenger and the number two ranked contender in the world by the WBO, Willie El Mongoose yeah. Monroe Jr. Yeah. 
down in front. He shouldn't have been up there. Our next set of comebacks will be the PFA schedule 12 for our contest. And we'll be doing the WBO Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Championship. Big embarrassment.